think I already gave away the too long didn't watch on this video with its title, but yeah, basically the Raspberry Pi 4 can boot from USB drives now without having to do any fancy extra work because USB boot is enabled in the default bootloader. And that was unceremoniously announced in this GitHub comment by TimG236 earlier today. But why is this news? I mean, I've already showed you before how I boot my own Pi 4s from USB drives for better performance and for stability, and there's a video linked in the description and in a card above me that showed how I did it months ago. Well, the big news is the Raspberry Pi engineers are indicating the features now stable enough to be released to everyone, and the next time you update your Raspberry Pi's firmware, USB booting will be supported out of the box without having to make any changes to the Pi's EEPROM firmware. This means if you have a Raspberry Pi 4 currently and want to boot off a USB drive, all you need to do is make sure you're running the latest firmware, then flash the Raspberry Pi OS to your USB drive. And that's it. Here's how I did it all on my Mac. First, I booted my Pi 4 using a microSD card, and once it was booted, I opened Terminal in the Raspberry Pi OS. You could do everything in, in this section remotely via SSH, but I was logged into the Pi, so I just did it there. I made sure everything on the Pi was up to date by running sudo apt-get upgrade-y. This takes a while, especially if you haven't upgraded the software in a while, but once it's done, you're ready for the next step. I ran the rpi eeprom update command using sudo to see if an update was available. In my case, since I already updated the firmware, it shows the bootloader is up to date and the current and latest versions match. If your Pi needs an update, then it'll say so and the current and latest versions won't match. You can run the update by running the same command rpi eeprom update with dash a after it. After the update is finished, you need to reboot the Pi before the changes take effect. So go ahead and reboot the Pi with sudo reboot. If it reboots normally, things are good and you can run the eeprom update command again if you want just to confirm it's up to date. Next up, you need to image a USB drive for the Pi. I use the Raspberry Pi Imager app, but you can flash the OS to the drive however you want. With the Imager app, I choose an OS, or in my case, an image file I had already downloaded from raspberrypi.org, then the USB drive that I had plugged in, and then I click Write. It takes a little while, but at the end, it ejects the drive. If you want SSH enabled by default, make sure to unplug and replug the drive in your computer and drop a file named SSH on the boot volume at this point. Otherwise, unplug the drive when it's finished and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Make sure you've taken out the micro SD card if you had one in the Pi previously, and then power on the Raspberry Pi. And voila! Now you can boot your Raspberry Pi from a USB drive without any micro SD card at all. I'm using a Corsair GTX flash drive in this video, which is pretty fast, but be sure to check out my previous video where I talk about a bunch of different USB drives you could use and which ones perform the best on my Raspberry Pis. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I'm Jeff Geerling.